Um, one thing I noticed with the LTD uh, X was that the Ventus Black in there is a shaft I like, but it may have been playing a little bit, you know, overly stiff for what I need. Um, so what I've done is I've actually just swapped it out for um, a hazardous RDX Smoke Blue. Not quite their stiffest um, for Project X, but definitely, you know, closer to X. Uh, 60 gram range, the Torx 3.4, so it, it should be a shaft with a little bit more feel versus Ventus that tends to feel extremely stiff because that's the way it's designed to be. So um, I just like to make a few swings with this. I've left it at nine. I've left the toe weight. Um, I want to see what the shaft does first so I can remember what the ball flight was like and then I may do some weights work to end the session and see if this might be something uh, really close to go back up head to head against the Stealth. That actually felt like a pretty good swing. And it was in many ways. I wonder if that face angle is just a little bit more open than it needs to be with that toe weight. We'll keep an eye on that. That's better, actually. I just kind of focused on getting through that one, getting through to my front side a bit better. That's nice. A little speed. Complaints there. Hmm. This is starting to feel a little bit more like the stealth. Because that's protecting me big time. That felt like a toe shot that would hook. It was really just kind of a straight push. Very interesting. And these are good results. I might make an adjustment and put that weight more in the heel. Some great drives, but it, yeah, it wants to stay left, which let's see if we can adjust that with a, a sole plate. Okay, so super simple. 10 gram weight is now in the heel versus it being in the toe before. So three in the toe, 10 in the heel. Cobra kind of told us uh, when we went out to see them in Arizona that the head is pretty fade biased to begin with, which is why they did at stock set it up the way I've just done it here with a 10 gram uh, in the heel. It seems like it would be draw biased, but from their configuration, this is actually pretty much neutral. Uh, where I had it before with the weight in the toe is quite fade biased. So um, let's see what this does. I think, you know, we've got a different shaft in there now. I think we got a better consistent pattern by moving to a shaft with a little bit more give to it. Um, now I'm curious if we match that up with um, the internal weighting being a little bit more suited to me, if we start to get some really kind of straight balls and good strikes. And right off the bat, that's one of the best ones I've hit today. For many reasons, very straight, very neutral, good numbers, good speed. I love that. I struck that a bit high in the head. I'm not going to be upset with it though, because that miss is still yeah, kind of on the edge of that long green there. Little heel shut. Not bad though. Felt really nice. Interesting though, I am definitely. <laughs> Since moving the weight back into the standard non-fade bias setting, I'm, I'm seeing the ball curve to the right, which I don't necessarily love. And that's me kind of trying to offset it a bit. I can see my path there got six degrees in and out, which I don't love to see. Um, okay, I think we could make one more tinker here. Still messing around with shafts that I believe you can all get from Cobra directly. This is the Hazardous Smoke IM10, kind of the green lettering one. Um, six and a half on the flex again. It's a little bit lower torque. It's a little bit heavier um, than the blue was. So it's something I want to play around with. I'm wondering if it might be kind of between that smoke blue and the Ventus Black. So I think that type of stiffness range, that type of stiff uh, tip profile might suit me quite nicely. Um, I'm going to leave the weights alone the way we had them, uh, more weight in the heel for now. 
Uh, we'll leave it like that for one swing. We'll see how it goes. Um, and if it is going to be an odd pattern, we can definitely adjust those back. I like that. Pretty straight. I'm having a little trouble controlling my strike point, which I don't love. Had a few in the toe, a few low in the face. And that's really probably what I'm getting out of this shaft change. Doesn't seem to be putting a whole lot of energy into the ball either. I'm kind of struggling to get above 170. So let's make another change. So I've gone a little Frankenstein here. Um, I have a feeling this might actually be quite a good fit. So I put the Ventus Black back in. I think it's really good at controlling the strike point for me. It is consistent. Um, the only thing about it is that if the head is low spin, which this one is, the shaft is going to contribute to that more because it's certainly not adding loft, you know, dynamically through the shaft kicking. So what I'm going to try is I'm actually going to bump this loft up slightly. So it's a nine degree head. I've bumped it to 10. It does add a little bit of loft, obviously at a dress. Now the driver sat quite open at standard to begin with. So now that I've set it up at 10, is it less open? Totally, but it's certainly not closed by any means. So I still really like the way it looks. And um, I've put that weight back in the toe again, because again, we have adjusted a bit of uh, face angle. I wouldn't mind letting the toe weight get back in there to hang on to it and make sure I don't miss it right. Actually quite a good start. That's got a little bit more spin on it because I slightly struck it below the equator, but I would much rather see that. That looks a lot more like the stealth flight to me. Yeah. That was actually a really good swing. I just hung onto the face just a shade. I'm not upset with that though. Let's see if I can warm into this configuration a bit. It's definitely a bit different than what I've been hitting, so. That feels really, really good. I might be onto something here. Because I like the strike consistency that Ventus Black gives me and there's no doubt it does. I think I just needed to offset you know, the low deliver loft by bumping the actual head up just slightly to 10 versus having it right down at nine. And then leave the toe weight in there to combat the slight you know, face closure that we did with the loft. Oh, those last two are, I'm really happy with those. Starting to feel like this is a driver I can give some beans to. Ooh. Nothing negative to say about that. This is this and the stealth are starting to feel like autopilot clubs. Yeah, I mean I don't I don't think I'm gonna hit anything much better than that one. Wow. Okay, I think we found ourselves a, a setup for the Cobra. Yes, a little more ball speed. Slightly low strike, but no complaints. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff going on here. Just slightly low on the face, which is why it spun a bit, but I'm seeing tons of speed and the directional control is a lot like what I see with stealth. Okay, so we hit a bunch of different stuff. Uh, the Cobra at the start is the Cobra that we had um, set up Ventus Black uh, right at nine degrees, weight in, the, uh, weight in the toe. Kind of a low spin, very left bias ball. Certainly not a big deal, not, not bad, but maybe not the most conducive to my swing. Uh, move the weight to the heel, and I believe we also put the uh, RDX Smoke Blue in there. 
Saw a little bit of ball speed jump, which was nice, but the strike started to get kind of erratic. I was hitting some low spinners in there, I was hitting some high spinners. You can see the actual dispersion circle got quite wide, started sneaking down the right side a bit, which I wasn't a big fan of either. Um, threw the IM10 in there, which again, it felt nice, but I didn't seem like I was getting the same kind of energy out of it. You know, the ball speed came down, striking wasn't quite as good. Finishing it off with the, uh, the head, the nine degree head, boosted up to 10 degrees, which we know closes the face slightly. To me, still looked open enough at address. Put the weight back in the toe so those two things kind of counteract each other. And then put the Ventus Black back in. Um, and to me, that's the best I've gotten that driver to perform so far. Um, those numbers right there are extremely good. So what I would say now is between LTD XLS, nine degree head, plus one setting. So I've added it to go up to 10. I put the weight in the toe to offset the face angle, although this still does sit very square to my eye, so I'm not concerned about that. Um, and then going back to the Ventus uh, 6X in there, that was about as good as I've had this driver perform you know, so far by, by some margin. And then up against the Stealth, which you saw in the previous video, a little bit of toe weight right at nine degrees, um, the Kylie 60TX in there. Again, these two have produced really, really similar, reliable ball flights with some long drives. So. Um, I think what's going to happen is that we might have to have one last head-to-head -head with these guys. Um, but before that, you guys let me know if there's something I've missed, one more tweak, one more shaft, one more head you might want to see thrown in there. Um, I'm not in a huge rush to pick a driver, but I am feeling like these two are really, really close. So um, let me know what you think, and I'm happy to keep testing because it, it is a good time for me, and I'm learning quite a bit about the drivers in my swing with every test. So uh, let me know what you think. Um, more driver testing I'm certainly happy to do. And uh, thanks for watching.